Stacey Abrams is back in the race for governor once again, folks, and she wants to clear the air concerning conceding the all-star game controversy and what she plans to do differently this time around. She sat down with our Hope Ford less than 24 hours after her announcement and Hope Abrams says she's back because her heart is all about service. Yeah, exactly. I asked with all the opportunities that you have outside of governor of Georgia, why run again? And Abrams told me she has a responsibility to public service regardless of the title of governor. But in order to make Georgia whole, she says the best way to do that is to win the election. Entering the ring, Governor Brian Kemp. I've been preparing for this fight for three years. And Stacey Abrams. My focus is always on fighting for Georgia. Once again, the gloves are off. We have a current governor who has failed the people of Georgia. In three years, the two didn't miss out on what the other was doing, or for Abrams, what she says Kemp isn't doing. If you were sitting here instead of me right now, what would, what would you have to say? Expand Medicaid right off the bat. That's... That's the linchpin. We're in the midst of a pandemic where only half of our state is vaccinated. I would tell him to protect the rights of women, that his egregious attack on voting rights is a terrible legacy for a state that should be leading in voting rights and voter access. Speaking of Governor Kemp's voting rights bill, applauded by Republicans, slammed by Democrats, ending in MLB pulling the all-star game from Georgia, a move Abrams was blamed for. Any company that spoke out against those bills were doing the right thing. I don't agree with pulling the game, but I do agree with disagreeing with and saying that those laws were wrong. In this long coming match, Abrams' political rivals continually reminding the public of round one when she refused to concede the election. Abrams says her rivals are just hitting below the belt. I acknowledged the outcome of the election at the beginning of my speech. I never once challenged the outcome of the elections in the courts. I've only challenged the process. Now she's challenging Republicans again and says if she wins, she doesn't want to fight against them. My mission is to serve every Georgian, whether they agree with me or not, and to make sure that they have a government that sees them and is willing to stand with them to get good done. And besides Medicaid, voting rights, Internet and small business expansion, she also plans to campaign on helping the unemployed and marginalized communities. Now, today, Governor Kemp sent a reminder to Georgia and saying he's the one who's been leading Georgia through the pandemic and fighting to keep the economy open. The other crowd, they wanted to close all that down. They want to defund the police. I've been the one that's out there standing up for our law enforcement and doing something about violent crime in Atlanta and pushing the business community and other political leaders to do the same. Kemp says he loves the fact that Abrams is running against him. Abrams says she is ready. And don't be surprised if we see her and Senator Warnock campaign together because you, as you remember Senator Warnock's seat. He's up for re-election next year as well. We will certainly be seeing a lot more of each of them in yeah. the coming months. A very interesting 2022 ahead. It is on the way. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Hope.